And welcome back, folks and friends. Connecting dots too here. Okay, it's late in the evening, uh, so um, <laughs> cut me a little slack here if I trip up. Uh, and I mean by late as in uh, uh, what, almost quarter after 11 in the evening on the West Coast. And I'm making this video because, well, you know, always seeking out some information on Fukushima and what do I come across? Ding dong here, and I'm speaking about Dana Dernford. Um, his latest rendition of BS, and I'm I'm going to go ahead and make the video because it it's going to tie in Fairwinds Energy and Energy News. Any news you must you must have heard of me speak of them before, and if not, well, great. You you want to stay away from the websites that he promotes. I'm speaking about Dana Dernford, this clown here from the steering wheel here in Gilligan steering wheel. So he's upset. If you haven't seen the video, uh, that's why he's making this because he's upset. You may see here two days ago, I went up to his beach in his hometown in Powell River, British Columbia, Canada. That's right. So you can go watch it. That's an hour and eight minutes. And, um, uh, whole lot of truth there and I didn't spend a whole lot of time I did not investigate 200 kilometers of beach heck no you'll get to see in the video I stopped at literally three beaches stopped altogether maybe six spots it's you know there's really only three locations three towns uh, you know Saltry Bay Powell River and Lund. That's it. That's the end of the highway. You got three towns. That's it. So, you know, I didn't have a whole lot of places to go and film. Um, Lund had no beach for me, essentially, but I did show you it was loaded with, um, um, was it oysters all along the shoreline there? Anyways, long story short, go see it for yourself. I don't even want to get into that. He's obviously upset because he's seen the video for himself. Uh, so far, there's only, what, 309. I'm sure it's going to keep, you know, views will continue growing because more people want the truth and that's the video where I went right up to his hometown um, right across from Vancouver Island where that red dot is I live down here in Victoria and by the way he's making claims now that I'm responsible for a person's death when in reality I'm the only person who's in contact with that person um, there's next of kin that are still alive here after this whole incident you know, and I'm speaking spe specifically about Jeff Palka. Okay I'm getting off topic as I, get, I said cut me a little slack it's been a long day it's uh, almost quarter after 11 here on the west coast. Okay I just grabbed another drink of water so the, the, the clown here he's back in action and um, again he's using that website I'm warning you of energy news stay away of it, you don't want to have anything to do with this website. Trust me, folks. I've been doing the Fukushima story since day one. I fell for it at first, but yeah, they, 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 they're a new a news aggregator. The problem is they always aggregate with a specific te a theme, sorry, a specific theme, and that theme is Fukushima radiation is responsible for this. So they aggregate the news that they need to carry that uh, that that bullshit, that premise aboard. And guys like uh, Dabu7, BP Earth Watch, um, Miss Melky the Clown, Missing Sky 101, Pink Safaret 2. I'm speaking of these YouTubers because they also make YouTube videos. And I don't mind making mentioning their names specifically the way they have their names set on their YouTube channels, they'll, they will refer to me as the dot o or dot guy because they're all chicken shits. They know damn well if anyone takes the time to come watch my videos, they'll be like, oh shit, yeah, man, this guy does a hell of a lot better job than all of those clowns. Anyways, essentially, I'm going to show you here how the clowns are hiding the truth. It's not, uh, you know, <laughs> you may notice he's again it's the death of the pacific ocean because that's why i went to his hometown because back then and i'm speaking of august of 2014 he said he went on this 200 kilometer stretch here of the sunshine coast like i said down from where that red dot is and he couldn't find any flies no birds all kinds of bullshit it's a total lies total lies okay let's call editing the scene Anyhow, like I said, go watch the video. You'll get informed. And the clown now is, now he's carrying it along here. We are in 2016. Well, now it's again, it's the death of the Pacific Ocean. Again, he's, he's using the news aggregator, Energy News, to carry on that premise that he's correct. Look, 
there's muscles over here and have cancer and it's Fukushima. Well, I'm going to debunk that. Well, it'll take us two seconds here. Okay, so let's continue on. The story uh, came out actually uh, roughly a month ago. It was in June um, of, uh, I believe, was it June? Yes, June 22nd, 2016. Uh, yes, those are muscles. And if you saw the video, or if you're about to go see it, uh, I may actually take time and put it up on the screen right now, and it'll open up in another browser so you can watch it later on. But essentially, if you go watch that video I got up there, you'll get to see uh, a whole lot of uh, wildlife uh, right along the ocean. And as I said, I went to Danish shoreline. Uh, did I see a whole lot of groupings of mussels like this? No. I, are there some film? Yes. Uh, majority of them, younger ones. So you'll see groups of younger ones along the edges of the dock. And because the sunlight was so bright in that morning, I was up there, I started rolling at about, well, you get to see, actually, I wake up in my car and I turn the camera on right away and I point the camera at, at the clock and it's, uh, what, 13 minutes after six. And what's right in front of my car uh, up up on the on the, on the mass of, of the sailboat is the, an eagle yeah so it's a beautiful video if you know nothing about the west coast and you want to get to see some beautiful wildlife i get all types of insects birds a uh, great video but anyways in that video itself i didn't see the, these larger ones however if you go see the video that i filmed right along my shoreline here on the city of victoria you'll get to see these great big huge mussels and I did find some groupings not quite as extensive and spread out as this is but go watch the video you'll see it for yourself I, I you know I like making this type of video where you actually present all the facts so that's the way it is with my videos go watch it I, I share folks I didn't do a whole lot of beach in Victoria 200 and sorry uh, two to three hundred feet that's it not kilometers of beach, okay? You'll get to see the muscles that I saw. Great big, fat, huge ones. Okay, let's jump into the story. Contagious cancer found in clams and mussels. Now, I'm not going to read this entire story. You'll have to hit the space bar. I'm just going to go jump for the juice of it, okay? As bad as cancer is in humans, and it is pretty bad, it's the number one killer. And no, uh, it's not because of Fukushima. Uh, cancer has been a number one killer um, for quite a while now, okay? Uh, the same can be said for clams, it says. <clears throat> Sorry. As bad as can, like I said, cut me some slack here. As bad as cancer is in humans, at least it's not contagious. The same can't be said for clams. My eyes are getting kind of like kind of fuzzy. I've been looking at the screen all day. Uh, for clams, mussels, and other marine bivalves, according to a new study published online today in Nature, these creatures can suffer from a form of cancer similar to leukemia that appears to be transmitted through the water and can pass not only between members of one species, but even between two different ones. Now, that's it. I'm not going to continue to read there. You can continue reading from this point on, okay? Where I'm going to jump to is this part here, okay? Um, for bivalves at least, the results suggest that cancer acts like a type, a new type of infectious agent, similar in many ways to, tra to traditional pathogens that continually evolve new genetic tweaks that allow them to survive and reproduce. This type of transmit transmissible cancer has also been discovered in several mammals, including the Tasmanian devils and certain breeds of dogs. The new results in bivalves, the authors, the authors suggest, show that some animals are more susceptible to the phenomenon, but humans are in the clear, at least so far. Yeah, so far. Okay, so I'm going to jump in. Uh, like I said, you'll have to, um, the, the, by the way, if you didn't get a chance to read all of that, the article is listed down below in the show more tab of this video. I'm going to go to another article is actually listed down below, okay, in this video, because <clears throat> this is where, like I said, it's not going to take me very long to debunk them. It's, uh, it's going to be a 20-minute video at best. And they just, I know what their uh, agenda is. It's, it's to lie, lie, lie. So. You know, that's why Dana is very upset. I make these types of videos. It's not about showing my face. It's more about showing the what? The data. Okay, so let's jump into this one. As you can see up here, June 22nd, 2016. It's basically the same story, except this one here is from Canada, CBC News, and it carries, uh, well, the debunking information that's going to just throw a, a kink in their gear. So scientists discover, uh, sorry, discover once contagious cancer, 
uh, sorry, discover the first contagious cancer that can spread <laughs> between this species. As I said, I'm tired. I've been up for a long time. Remember, I'm running a trade room here. At uh, we're there at six o'clock in the morning, so I've been up for quite a while here. Okay, okay. So um, it says here that clams, mussels, and cockles are among shellfish within shells prone to transmissible cancers. Okay, it says here that um, Spanish scientists collected cockles in the uh, Ria of Arusa in Galicia in Spain. Contagious leukemia was found in cockles, mussels, and golden carpet shell clams. Got it? Okay, no, and there's more to it. Just wait. Okay, so it goes on to say here... Um, Yada, 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 this new st new study, which is the one I just I shared with you, okay? But it goes on to say that, um, uh, as I was saying, it can spread from one species to another. No big news there. But here's here's the this, the part that Dana didn't want to share with you, folks. Like I said, Energy News is an aggr aggregator of bullshit. They're not going to present the full facts like, for example, CBC News is doing here right now, okay? So Environment Canada's, and I'm reading from this section right here, okay? Environment Canada's uh, Jim Sherry here is seen here sampling mussels in PEI, that's Prince Edward Island in Canada here, studied soft shell clam die-offs in PEI linked to a contagious cancer. That eventually led him and his collaborators to see if they could find similar diseases in other shellfish. Bada boom, bada bing. Got it? Good. So it all started here in PEI. Okay, the Fukushima can't get the PEI, okay, folks? The PEI is over on the East Coast in the Atlantic Ocean. It's actually hit with the it's in the hit being hit with St. Lawrence uh, fresh water all the time so yeah, I'm, I'm not saying it's not salty and that's not what I was trying to say there is absolutely some ocean water right around PEI but I mean you know it, it's being hit with fresh water so it's not like it's a, a Fukushima radiation being poured on it all the time it's more like a Prince uh, St. Lawrence River water being dumped on it all the time. Okay, so here it goes on to say that mussels living off the coast of British Columbia, like I said, there's there's some story, there's some truth to what Energy News will put out, but unfortunately, like I said, they don't present all the facts, and it's all about taking a story and trying to make it look like, ah, it's Fukushima. Okay, so I'm not going to scare you like that. Uh, it's more important to, to reveal the true facts. So it goes on to see here that mussels living off the coast of British Columbia, along with cockles and golden carpet uh, shell clams in Spain, are all prone to the contagious cancer. That's right, even the ones in Spain, and looks like the ones in PEI, similar to the one that devastated soft shell clams farming operations in PEI, the Canadian. U.S. and Spanish scientists reported Wednesday in Nature. It may be more widespread in nature than we know. So I'm not going to read all of this, uh, again, because of the copyright stuff, but um, here we go. Uh, genetics analysis showed that the cancer cells found in the golden carpet shell clams above originated from another species called the pullet carpet shell. It's the first known case of cross-species cancer transmission. That's right. Not Fukushima radiation being transmitted. Can cancer transmission, you know, folks. Okay, you get that. Okay, great. Whew. It's a good thing I got some great subscribers that can see through the BS. Anyways, uh, I'm not going to read all of this. I think I, I basically uh, you've got this figured out now. This all happened uh, essentially over in Spain, PEI, both on the Atlantic Ocean, nowhere near Fukushima. And again, it's not Fukushima radiation that they're finding in the shells or the mussels or the cockles. It's what? The cancer. And again, go watch the video where I, I, I went right to Dana's Beach. You'll see lots of life right there that's why he's upset okay folks like i said we live right here on the west coast him and i it's a beautiful location there's lots of wildlife come on down you'll have a beautiful time okay they do whale watching right in the city of victoria beautiful location don't listen to his bs okay absolute bs go watch the video this one here like i said 
two days ago when I uploaded that thing right there. His whole, him and his Kevin Blanche are all saying the Pacific Genocide. The proof is right there. I did it in less than 24 hours at only stopping, like I said, roughly six locations at best. You'll get to see for yourself. There's no way in hell. None of those clowns ever did 200 kilometers of beach. Okay. They're absolutely lying, and you'll understand why it's easy to have a camera on your boat and tour along the shoreline and tell everyone it's dead. It's because he wasn't close enough. Go watch the video. Get yourself informed. The information's there. I took my time to go right up to Powell River and uh, videotape it uh, right there in Powell River because people want the truth. Okay, I'm going to finish up with uh, going to check out the comments, see if there's anything interesting there. Information's there. Okay. Hello from Sweden. Hey, how are you doing, guy? Uh, take a hot shower and have a good sleep. Yes, absolutely. Don't forget to lock my cat video off. Okay. Vegetarian. All right. That's it for now, I guess. Take care, folks. Um, we'll see you later. I'm off to bed. <laughs>